Hello there, Linda Artisani, Artisani Bookkeeping. I wanted to do a little, little tutorial to show you how to fix bank reconciliation errors, something maybe a change transaction after a, a particular reconciliation has been processed, and how to undo a bank rec if you need to as a last resort. So we're in the sample file here, Larry's Landscaping. Oh, sorry, it's Craig's. Oh, that just dated me. <laughs> Craig's Landscaping and Designing Landscaping. And you're coming in here to reconcile and you see this, what's this $30 under the changes? So you can come in here and select this and I can go in to see what's changed. So the first step is to click on to see what's changed. And you may have several or multiple changes here if someone made changes. And you can see here that when it was originally reconciled, the original amount was $54.55, and then someone came in and changed the amount to $24.55, and that changed the bank rec. So if I were to come into the bank reconciliation, my ending balance when I finished in February was $4,570.45, so that should be my beginning balance. But if I come in here to reconcile, you will see that my beginning balance is off by that $30. So I won't be able to reconcile the next month because of that difference. The easiest way to fix an issue like this is to actually come into this transaction, see the changes, see that it was $30, that this should be $54.55, and just click on this, change it back to $54.55, save and close it. You're going to get the warning box, which you would have gotten when you made the change as it was, and now you can see that my bank is back to where it needs to be. My ending balance is $4,570.45. And when I click in here to do the next month, it is also $4,570.45. So I'm okay and I'm good to go. So that's why if you ever look at a bank rec and you see this zero, then you know that somebody made a change. So let's just say that you did this bank record that should have said 228.16 and it says 17. How do I fix that? Well, you're gonna to need to undo the entire bank rec to restart. And it's gonna leave this kind of messy line. So if you're working with a pro advisor or maybe your accountant that has QuickBooks Online Accountant, this is the QuickBooks Online version that we have as pro advisors and your CPA may have that as well. We have in our particular file, we have a way to just click one button that says undo. And that will undo it completely, take the line item off, do everything for you. If you don't have access to either, the only way that you can undo this is I recommend printing the report from the last month. So there's only two transactions that cleared in this particular month. Checks and payments that cleared here, there were no deposits that cleared. So I just really need to undo these two transactions from the check register, take off the R, so we'll go to the check register itself. I'm gonna come over here to view the register, and I'm gonna take off those two transactions that have cleared. So you come down here to see the R's, and I know it was these two, this 5455 and this 250. So to unreconcile them, I'm just gonna click the R until it's gone say yes, and I'm gonna undo the second transaction. So you may have a lot more, um, more transactions than this. So now if we go back to that screen that we were on before with the bank reconciliation, now it's gonna show that there's two changes and it's quite a mess. So my ending balance here was $4,875, and this one, my ending balance was $4,000, $570.45. So if I were to come in here to reconcile it now, I'll put the 228 date back here. So this is me redoing my bank rec to make it correct. And I'm just gonna re-reconcile the two transactions. Now they're available for me to select again because they are now unreconciled because I did those unchecking of the R buttons and now it's fixed. The problem with doing this, as you'll see, is there's now this messy line where you've got two reconciliations that could be avoided if you contact your CPA or a pro advisor and just say, hey, can you just undo me and let me redo it again? So I hope that was helpful, showing you how to unreconcile. If you have any questions, would like to see any further videos, please feel free to reach out to me on my Facebook page. I'll provide a link in the blog. Thank you, bye now.